hello hi there welcome to the guiding voice podcast series the guiding voice for a better future this podcast is to help professional students it employees and entrepreneurs to shape their careers dear listeners in every episode we interact with industry experts or leaders or academicians or coaches across the globe to drive some insightful conversations that will help our audience learn great things also we share an interesting trivia or fun fact about the it world or technology towards the end thank you for tuning in this is navin and with my co-host sudhakar so folks when it comes to a new year we think about resolution saying that i'm going to hit the gym and someone goes ahead and pays the annual subscription fees and they are motivated to hit the gym for a week or probably 2 weeks but not sure what happens after third week onwards similarly somebody wants to get on to a healthy diet option and they start on it somehow they are not able to move forward likewise everybody thinks about transforming themselves in something or the other however they are not able to achieve transformation so ever wondered if there is a blueprint for personal transformation in case if you are thinking to follow a blueprint probably this episode is for you Because in today's episode we are going to cover personal transformation blueprint and we are pleased to welcome Alok to our show to cover this important topic. Alok Verma is a facilitator, motivational speaker and transformation coach who has inspired positive change in the lives of his audience for almost a decade. 18 years of working experience in IT, ITES and the L&D sector, Alok was lucky to find his purpose and now he is on a personal mission. of helping others identify their too and design their best possible life alok has worked in the field of sales customer support business development corporate training and facilitation to name a few he has helped more than 50 corporates both in india and globally to build a better team and develop an understanding of interpersonal relationships he has also been the keynote speaker on a host of topics including innovation and time management alok's expertise has helped multi- multiple teams to conceptualize learning engagement activities and consequently execute memorable workshops and event alok welcome to our show thank you so much sudhakar and navin for this wonderful introduction uh, thank you for having me here today pleasure is all ours alok so let's get into the basics first why did you propose this topic personal transformation blueprint what exactly does it mean Okay so I think the reason of proposing this topic when you ask for it is very very personal I think this is one thing which defines my story from being into a sales profession by mistake or I can say accident where I was feeling little heavy to and want to change and I was not finding ways to do that to transforming into something I love to do it meant the world for me and I know there are people out there who need this so this is the reason for the topic Okay what is personal transformation in general and why should i transform are you saying that i am not that good in the current form good question sudhakar so see sudhakar so the thing is that uh, we in and you know this data we in a normal lifetime journey cl- uh, work close to 90000 hours and it's a uh, given information and according to a survey close to 87% of the working professionals are not happy with what they are doing wow. which means there are a lot of people spending a lot of time being miserable now that is something which makes a lot of us fall into that category maybe you or navin are not into that zone but then there are like 87% people probably listening to this show are into that place place where you feel like something needs to change you have dreams in your eyes but you have settled for something less than that and you are at a place where you know something needs to change but you don't know what or you don't know why and where maybe you are too much burdened with the emis and the bills to pay and you're not making that move what can you do you can figure out if there is a blueprint which can really help us reach there that makes us important to go and act for it and go get the life you always wanted so that's important Alok wonderful examples related to the personal transformation and I'm loving the conversation every bit of it. So here comes my first question who in your opinion is a role model with respect to personal transformation? You know uh, Navin uh, th- this is very interesting question now my answer is not one person and when you talk about me actually about the role model there were none at that time when i transformed it was not because what i wanted to do it was because what i did not want to do 
I was sure about what I don't want in life. I was not so sure about what I need. So there was a lot of lot of struggle going on at that point in time. See what happened is that I started my career as an MC and I wanted to become a news reader and I wanted to go to media. I was theater. That was me in the beginning 22 years back. And then somehow I came into the IT and selling IT and all of that stuff. So I was finding that heat inside me that is something which needs to go out and do something on the stage. So for me that reason was different. But in when you say the role model, interestingly what I have found uh, is that there are a lot of role models, there are a lot of transformers around us in plain clothes. The thing is that their stories are incredible and very inspiring. So this is what I do. I find them and then I get them to my podcast which I do on every Wednesday. I call it Beat Transform Wednesdays and I have a conversation with them. and there are astonishing stories which come these are my role models you know there was a guy in australia who was a farmer father was a farmer he wanted to become he wanted to make his kid a farmer and this person moved out changed the direction changed the course and became a rock star i say literal rock star that was adam thompson second episode wow. then there was a lady from netherlands she was a young beautiful charming lady her name is shanti and she is teaching self love to the world now amazing stories of transformations are out there they all are role models not one person amazing so it's good to get inspired and at the same time inspire somebody else alok when you mentioned about the conversations that you are having as part of your podcast it is resonating with the conversations that we are having with our guests and i completely concur with you in terms of transformation that is happening between me and sudhakar after every conversation because every person is different and their success criteria is different and their problems are different and we are able to get inspired and we are able to transform bit by bit and thanks for sharing those amazing stories And now since we have been talking about this personal transformation and all how does someone embark on a personal transformation journey That's a very very interesting question very important as well Navin which you ask and I would love to tell this that there is a system which they can follow First of all in a personal transformation story or a journey we should start where we are So and I always say this that you're neither early nor you are late every time is the right time to start wherever you are in your career you can start or in your life you can start first of all start where you are and it's a race or it's a journey with ourselves there is no comparison i can't transform to be somebody else i need to build my own blueprint i need to build my own story step 1 start where you are the step 2 is build a compass now this is a very interesting terminology you know we need to have a compass to show the direction not the way remember when google map was not there there was a compass which was showing north and of course all the four directions and people used to know that the compass is there and then go in that direction they used to take ship to that direction and slowly they used to explore and find the new territory of their life now the tragedy is a lot of us are using somebody else's compass maybe it is a compass of that bhaiya or that uncle in the family who looks like very successful or it is a compass of a leader or a influencer who you feel is wow amazing or it's a celebrity but excuse me this is not your compass and that's what the problem is everybody has a different story so have a compass and then leading the compass is the way finding again earlier explorers never had a map they they never had a google map but they used to way find and find new territories that's how we find that the third step is check all the options now this is one mistake people do they get in love with something and they try to transform to that and suddenly realize okay they love the term but they don't love the things that come along with that so you love the face but you don't love all the features of that uh, pose you have now and then suddenly realize oh my god what have i done so before you make the jump check all the options available in the career path and then you can always go ahead and seek help from your own network we all have a network now a lot of us are on networks like linkedin you see but how many of us use that for a true purpose of transformation i think very few now there are people who are in their journey who are little ahead of us and if you go and seek help i think they will be willing to help so use the network which we have to seek help to seek guidance to understand hey you are at a place i want to be i want to transform what have you been through what will i go through ask those questions and be prepared to make the transformation so that is a little bit of a snippet about the blueprint i just gave it to you absolutely but i really liked those three components that you touched upon alok one baseline yourself means start where you are 
and yeah. use compass not the measurement scale because you are only looking for the direction and the pace at which you want to go will be completely customized and suitable to your requirements Absolutely. and i really loved this aspect of look like so someone who looks like a successful person because success is so relative term and also it's so different for each one of us I was uh, going through that uh, linkedin white paper someone published a tiger a snake a duck a monkey all of them are put in row and someone is saying that to be fair we want you to measure your skills on how mm-hmm. quickly you can get on to that tree mm-hmm. so just because a tiger and a snake cannot get on to the tree does not mean that you know they are less powerful or more powerful right absolutely so alok in this great journey that you talked about with three major milestones or three major things that you need to focus on what are mm-hmm. some of the pitfalls that we should be avoiding I will give you my pitfall which I did when I made my move I was not trained on a blueprint I knew nothing I just had a passion to do something I found that while I was looking forward to use my skills of speaking to be on stage which was not getting utilized in my career around 10 years back and I found a career of facilitation where I can use those skills and I can also use the wisdom I have acquired through 10 years of working 8 years of working in one place I made the move but the thing is i was not prepared i was not prepared for the move so i went through that pain of transformation i went through that the transition anxiety which happens so what happens is that a lot of us make those emotional changes make those emotional moves and we are not planned well so the planning means that if you want to transform first of all do this homework go through the journey don't just go for one option see what design thinking says have a lot of options and use prototyping so that you know you know what is going to come ahead don't spend 6 months on something and decide and say oh my god it is not worth now what should i do that's agile of course we all uh, know these terms now so first of all uh, plan for it have a different many options to see what works for you of course use some prototyping and kind of have that experience speak to people who have been there so i have read a story of a lady who wanted to open a italian restaurant and she loved italian food so she she left everything what she was doing she was doing and got all her money together opened a restaurant just to realize that after 6 months she's hating the job the reason is what she was in love with was designing those menus getting the cuisines made but she was not liking handling staff managing wastage or paying the bills all that comes along in a restaurant probably she would have just worked in salon restaurant for some weeks or months but have got what she wants she later moved to catering where she was doing all of that without that overhead and she was creating those menus giving that service so understanding what you really love about the transition is very important making a sudden jump sounds heroic but it is very painful because you're not prepared and you have bills to pay so it's very important to plan ahead and then move on wow so keep the options open and ensure that you try it out using the prototypes because that will give you the realistic picture on whether you really love that for one day or you want that to be your life for rest of your life right absolutely yes. excellent hey alok you talked about start where you are just like baselining yourself mm-hmm. so at what age or what stage should someone start that personal transformation journey so you know the answer is uh, not absolute to this question sudhakar one can start at any point of time now when i say any point of time even somebody who is moving out of college and getting into the professional world can use the principle of life design use design thinking use life design principles to really opt out for a career which they would love uh, after 10 years 20 years but you know at that place people are not very clear of their options they're not very clear of what they really want because they've not tasted and tried everything but when you already work for 8 10 years then you come into that zone that you can judge and decide that hey am i loving it am i not loving it am i a part of those 87% unsatisfied people or am i a part of those 17% satisfied people so now this is the time so that's why you know who uh, normally i speak to and i try to change and help is people who have worked for 8 10 years uh, mid career professionals who now have realized have got their clarity of mind that hey this is for me or this is not for me and that's the ideal time people should plan well and move out for the transformation so if you ask the age wise i think 35 to 45 is is a great period when we should explore this funny enough generally we say that is the age at which you get into that midlife crisis right yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> somewhere if you see the midlife crisis is this only when you suddenly realize oh my god what i have been doing you know that's what happened you know what happened with me mm-hmm. i got my first job because i just wanted money this was not planned you know i was running at that point of time doing my graduation but i was hating to get i w- i'm from varanasi mm-hmm. i was living in delhi and my mm-hmm. mother used to send me some money at that point of time mm-hmm. and i used to exactly know that after sending this amount to me how much is left left there because you know mm-hmm. we are from a very very modest family and my father was in railways so i knew that amount which was left and that used to hurt me every day that more than the three people are consuming there in varanasi i'm solo alone here consuming and yeah. that was hitting me and i wanted a job so who will give a job to an undergraduate call center so i went into a call center Mm-hmm. Then after the call center, I thought, okay, I'll work for some days, have some finances in place, then I'll move on to the career. But for three years, I was in call centers. Mm-hmm. Then one day, I realized, no call centers. Night shift is happening. I'm losing my hair. I'm losing, getting dark circles. I should move mm-hmm. out of it. So what should I do? Mm-hmm. I asked people, but people were not hiring call center people outside at that point of time. I'm talking about 2003, 4, 2005, mm-hmm. I guess. Then somebody said, you know what? You can speak well. Why don't you try sales? So I got in sales and then I started selling. I stole everything from credit card to IT equipment to computer memory to servers and then serve services. So this so happened. Nothing was planned. You know, that's how a lot of career journeys out there. People are just going with the flow, but some they have not planned for it. So yeah, I think that's what leads to a midlife crisis when you suddenly realize, oh my God, what I've been doing, this is something I need to change. All right, so let's spice up this conversation as it has been going very serious. And are you ready for a quick rapid fire? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so here comes the first question. Perfectionism versus progress, which one would you prefer? I prefer progress. Perfectionism is never achieved and I've spent time wasting time for that as well in my life. <laughs> Here comes the second one. So if you are given a chance to pick four people on your dinner table across the world, who would they be? Wow, I think it would be Gary Vaynerchuk, Tony Robbins, Simon Sinek and Salma Hayek. Wow, <laughs> that's quite uh, spot on. So, Alok, what is the best compliment that you have ever given so far? It's a little intense. Um, there are many compliments which come in our work, but this one, I was doing a keynote session at an IIT, IIT Guwahati. And when I stepped down from the stage, there's a kid who came and told me that, sir, thank you because you saved me to make a drastic and dramatic act in my life. I was feeling low and I was feeling depressed. I see hope and I see possibilities after listening to you. I think it was the best thing I ever heard uh, for my work. Awesome. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It is good to hear from our audience and it's a wonderful moment which we will cherish forever, right? Here comes the next question. In the professional world, who do you admire the most? A lot of people, but if you see uh, one person I really admire is uh, Arun Rao from Focus You. He has been one person who has added tremendous value in my career and he's a true professional from all the points he qualifies there. So, Arun. Again, that's uh, quite spot on. So, one last one for the rapid five. What motivates you to get out of the bed in the morning? My dog, she asked me to take out for a walk. <laughs> Besides, that's the, I killed the seriousness. So, but on a serious note, um, that desire that it, will I be able to, you know, probably help somebody, one single person today uh, with the work I do, I think that drives me to get up and jump out of bed every morning. Wow. Thank you, Alok. That has been an amazing rapid fire, I must say. It has been an amazing discussion so far, Alok, and I'm sure the audience are going to love this conversation. One last question for this session. What is one piece of advice that you would give to those aspiring to make big in their careers? I think I will take it back to what I already said. Don't copy influencers and just follow people because they look fancy and they are sharing a lot of amazing stuff online. A lot of times people don't share what is not working. They always show you what is really fancy and this whole Instagram life is out there. Make your own blueprint, make your own compass, make your own path because see, we all have give, we all are given a different unique fingerprints. It's just for a reason. We have a different story to tell and go for it, invest time and do something for yourself. Now, I would not say follow your heart. I will say plan and follow your heart. And that's my message to the audience. Great points. And you are absolutely spot on. Not many failures are written or not many failures are celebrated, right? 
of course yes. off late we started celebrating that in the corporate culture only last couple of years if you ask me but thank you alok it has been an amazing discussion like i was mentioning and thank you so much for joining us today it was indeed our pleasure to talk to you about this personal transformation blueprint and thank you for reemphasizing or certifying that there is nothing wrong with me but there is always an opportunity for me to be a better of sudhakar thank you thank you so much sudhakar thank you so much for navin i think it is an incredible conversation i loved every bit of it and you guys are doing an amazing uh, job by creating this platform and getting those conversations to people thank you sure pleasure is ours and thanks again for being part of our journey in shaping careers of millions of people across the globe dear listeners to know more about our speaker and the content refer to the show notes and visit our followers on social media we are available on linkedin facebook insta twitter pinterest and also on youtube just search for the guiding voice and then follow like subscribe to us and also share with your network in addition please feel free to email us at the guiding voice for you that is t h e g u i d i n g v o i c e for as a digit you as a letter at gmail.com or whatsapp us on india number 94945871817 that is india number 94945871817 and we will be happy to collaborate with you hey sudhakar can you talk about the exciting opportunity of featuring our audience on this show sure navin So guys, off late we have been receiving a lot of career guidance related questions from our regular listeners through YouTube, LinkedIn comments, WhatsApp and email and we are responding to them on one on one basis. Now, we are pleased to open up a new mode of interacting with you all while providing a chance to broadcast yourself. If you have any questions related to education, career guidance or a specific IT function, just send your voice message through speakpipe.com slash the guiding voice. We will play your question in your own voice along with the answer either from us or our expert panel in our future episodes. Hope you will utilize this wonderful opportunity. All right, so it brings us to the trivia segment of today's episode. So, folks, today's trivia is about Time Magazine, and uh, here comes the question: Do you know who was named uh, Time Magazine Man of the Year in 1982? You may be wondering, but Computer was named Man of the Year in the year 1982 by Times Magazine. Interesting, isn't it? There is more in store, folks. Stay tuned. Take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye bye. And we are signing off for today. Thank you.